Good day everyone. Can you solve this question suggested by one of our viewers? Here's the question. Now, given these two squares, the question now here is what is the area of the shaded region represented as X? You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. So, this question is a suggested question by one of our viewers. So, our goal here is to solve for the value of this area that is represented by x. Now, we have two possible strategies to use in this kind of question. The first one is the box or rectangle method. In this strategy, what we're going to do is to put this figure inside a box or a rectangle. And the second strategy is changing our perspective. So let's start with our first strategy, which is box or rectangle method. So to do that, what we're going to do is to complete this rectangle like this. So we have here a whole rectangle, wherein this side measures 2, so the other side must be equal to 2. And now we can say that the length of the larger box must be equal to 4 because we have 2 plus 2. And the length of the rectangle must be equal to 4 plus 2 or simply equal to 6. Now we can now find the area of this shaded region represented by x. So what we're going to do is to get the area of the whole rectangle which is equivalent to 4 multiplied by 6 and that is equivalent to just 24 square units. Now what we're going to do is to find the area of these three right triangles then subtract to the area of the whole rectangle to find the area of the shaded region. So let's do that. Let's have this first right triangle right here. So this is side length of 2 and the other side must be 2 also. So the area of this right triangle must be equal to 1 half times 2 times 2. So the area of this triangle must be equal to 2 square units. So the area of the first triangle must be equal to 2 square units. Now how about the second right triangle right here on the bottom part? So the area of this right triangle must be equal to 1 half times base times height. So 1 half times 2 times 6 and that is equivalent to just 6 square units. So the area of the second triangle must be equal to 6 square units. Now the area of the third triangle must be equal to 1 half times 4 times 4 or simply equal to 8 square units. So the area of the third triangle must be equal to 8 square units. Now at this point, we can now find the area of the shaded part. So what we're going to do is to take this 24, the area of the whole rectangle, minus the area of these three right triangles. So 24 minus 2 minus 6 minus 8 and surely we get a value of 8. Therefore, the area of this shaded part must be equal to 8 square units. Okay, so this is the box or rectangle method. Now, how about the second strategy, which is changing our perspective? So let's do that. This is much more easier than the first strategy. So to use this strategy, what we're going to do is to rotate this figure like this. And now, take note that in this case, we have here a right triangle. Now, the base of this right triangle must be the diagonal of this square having a side length of 2. And we can easily find the length of the diagonal of a square given its side. The length of the diagonal must be equal to the length of the side of the square multiplied by the square root of 2. Therefore, the base measures 2 times square root of 2. Now, how about the height of this right triangle? So the height, we know that the length of this box must be equal to 4. This is 2 times the length of the small square. So the length of the diagonal must be equal to 4 times square root of 2. Now, to find the area of this shaded region represented by x, this is simply equal to 1 half times base times height. So this is simply equivalent to 1 half times 2 times square root of 2 times 4 times square root of 2. Now, simplifying this, 1 half times 2 times square root of 2 times 4 times square root of 2, surely we get an answer of 8. 
Therefore, using two possible strategies, we get an answer of 8 square units. Therefore, our answer to this question, what is the area of this shaded region represented as x? And we get an answer of 8 square units. And as always, we are done.